today I'm gonna be doing a quick black and gold makeup eyeshadow tutorial. I hope you guys love it. No rambling. We're just gonna get straight to it. So I hope you enjoy. Bye. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna start out with a clean face. Wash it with anything you want. And don't forget to add primer on your eyes. I added hard candy sheer primer all over my face and also my eyelid. The next thing I'm using is this neutral palette. Something that you could substitute for this palette is the BH Cosmetic palette. As long as you have the color scheme, you're fine. What I'm doing now is I dipped a flat headed brush into a brown eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is the same color as milk chocolate, like a Snickers bar or a Hershey's bar. What I'm doing now is I'm working that brown into my crease. I place the brown slightly above my actual real crease because later on I'm going to put black into that actual crease, but for now I am adding brown. And I'm also in, I'm also following the natural curves of my eye. Now, the thing that you have to remember is blending is one of the key aspects of doing makeup. So, always try to blend, blend, and blend some more. Next, like I said, I'm taking that black eyeshadow and I'm going to add that black right into the real crease of my eye, which is slightly below the brown. And I'm going to follow that same shape as I did with the brown eyeshadow. I'm going to do that with the black. Like I said, you just want to keep blending, following the natural curves of your eye. Lines of demarcation is not cute at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to blend it out a little bit more so it kind of seems that one color is going into the next seamlessly. Now I'm going to use the same brush as we did in the beginning and using a paint pot by MAC, this is called Indian Wood, I'm going to use that and I'm going to fill in my eyelid. Just put the paint pot where you didn't put the brown or the black, you're just filling in where no makeup was. And I'm going to start at my tear duct and fill it all the way through. Now we can't just leave it like this, so we're going to take that brush that we did in the beginning and we're going to blend those two where they meet up so that it's not so harsh of, you know, a line of separation. Makeup is all about blending. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a real vibrant gold. This gold is the same as jewelry you can find in a store. It's as bright as an actual sheet of gold. It may not look like it on the camera, but it is. And what I'm doing with that is, starting at my tear duct, I'm going to place it or pack it onto my eyelid. And I'm only going to pack it from the tear duct to the middle of my eye.
The reason that I'm packing the color on is because I really want that color to stand out. Next, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Cream Eyeliner. It's the Pure Black, which is the number 886, and I'm using an eyeliner brush. And starting at my tear duct again, I'm going to make a very thin line of eyeliner. I wanted it to be thin because I really wanted people to see the actual colors of my eye and I know sometimes when you add a thick line of eyeliner it kind of takes away the effect so I'm adding it very thin. And now I'm going to make the wing. The wing is going to go in the same direction as the eyeshadow, the brown and black eyeshadow. And as you can see, I'm following that same direction. Next, what I'm going to do is clean that eyeliner brush off and I'm going to dip that into the Indian Wood Paint Pot. And with that color, I'm going to put it right underneath the black. I'm just highlighting underneath the black with the gold paint pot. Following the same direction. Then I'm going to clean it off again and I'm going to dip it back into the eyeliner, the black eyeliner, and I'm going to go underneath the paint pot and I'm going to put another line going in the same direction. Next, I'm taking the brush that we used in the beginning, and instead of dipping it into an eyeliner, I'm dipping it into a black eyeshadow, and I'm just going to underline my waterline with this black eyeshadow. I'm also going to dip it in a little bit of the paint pot and put that paint pot underneath my tear duct in the corner of my eye, but make sure they fade out. I'm going to add a little bit more of the paint pot under my tear duct blending the two together and there you go it's that simple